All right, guys, now we're into FZ2 Deep. And we're using the same blitz concept as we did out of DB Strike to get the same type of pressure. The only difference is instead of us being in man coverage, we are now going to be in a cover two defense. So we'll come out a random play. Let's see. All right. So we're going to do the same thing. We are not base aligning. We are simply pressing, QB containing. Then we're going to take this guy that is blitzing and move him to the outside to where his angle changes. Now it looks a bit different, but that is because we are blitzing an extra guy on the right side of the field. We are also having additional coverage on the left. So when I run this, I like to play on the middle linebacker. And you can either play directly above the D tackle to try to blow up the run, or you can simply just play back. Um, doesn't really matter either way. The pressure is going to come in the same regardless. So say we're playing right here. You'll see that the corner on the right is coming in free. You can do the same thing. Moving this guy slightly to the outside. Now if they block the running back and slide protect right, go ahead slide right. You'll see that it doesn't matter. I mean, the pressure's going to come in regardless. See, that time when they did that, it came B-gap. And it's just you got too many people blitzing on the right to pick up with a slide protect. So this is kind of like a sim-type defense that is more annoying than you would think. The fact that we can mix up our coverages really well is really going to piss our opponents off. This time we're going to block the tight end and the running back. Now, in this case, you see that it did get picked up. But if they're blocking two extra people and you still want the pressure to come in, simply blitz the linebacker that is on the right, move this guy out just like you were. And now, if they are blocking the tight end and the running back and line shifting to the right, or even not line shifting to the right, you're still going to get pressure. So as you see here, the guy still comes in free. And that was blocking both with line shift to the right. So if they're blocking seven people to pick up our five-man rush, then we just need to blitz the extra guy over here in the flat zone. And that will get the pressure to come in regardless. So once again, you're just moving this dude out. You're going to block everybody. So now we're we only got three routes out there. And you'll see here that that is what's going to happen if they just block two people and don't uh, line shift. So if they just block the tight end and the running back, you'll see that now this was just complete whiff. It shouldn't have got two people free. Um, that D end, or the linebacker, he's the guy that tends to come in free. The corner just kind of looped into the gap and... Uh, came in as well but that's not what typically happens it typically is just the guy coming off of the edge so once again it's a quick little adjustment that way if they're blocking seven you can blitz six and still have the numbers advantage so that is the play fz2 deep and in the next one we'll show how to run cover three